when you are commanding, when you are speaking, watch the things that you say about yourself and about your life. Hi guys, it's Osuna Zodigo, aka your soul sister. Welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video. <laughs> so if you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you are a retaining savvy, thank you so much. And thank you so much for tuning in, for joining me today. So because we're coming from a long weekend, an Easter weekend, I wanted us to talk about a few things. And I just wanted us to discuss a few things like an interesting topic that came to me about how we as black people are the largest number the largest group of people that go to church right so um, the reason why I wanted to discuss that is that I find that in our community it's a lot of people that operate on fear but for some reason, we are the largest number, um, largest group that goes to church. And to me, if you go to church, then I would assume that you have faith in God, you trust your creator. And for me, I feel like when you do things, you should be at least confident. But what I have encountered with us as a race is that we operate so much on fear and it's just everything is a doubt everything is so uncertain and it makes me wonder what is it that we learn when we go to church you know like when we go to church and praise god what do we come back home with is that why is it that we operate so much on fear why is everything a no to us why is it that we can't say yes to the things that we want to do? Why can't we say yes to the life that we want to live? Why can't we say yes to being abundant, to being open to the blessings that God wants to give us? Because I believe that in the Bible, it says that, um, you know, God doesn't want to see us suffer. I don't know what chapter that is in the Bible, but what I do know is that God didn't put us here to suffer. And if you're suffering, um, I think it's really important to work on your relationship with God. And that's what I want to discuss. And I'm in no way religious, don't get me wrong. I'm going to spirituality. And the first pointer that I want to touch on, why is it that we are operating on fear would be that when we're growing up we're conditioned to believe that we're not good enough that we're not beautiful enough that we're not talented enough hence why we're so scared to tap into our you know talents our just creative genius and i think for us to let go of that it would involve a lot of prayer a lot of therapy and a lot of just like sitting with yourself and finding yourself because i do find that sometimes we distract ourselves with things when we don't want to face who we are when we don't want to face our reality more especially when we're scared to change our reality you know sometimes you want to change your situation but you are actually scared to do it because you're scared of the unknown. So how do you let go of the spirit of just um, fearing? So to answer that and to combat that, I would say um, get into the habit of praying. Get into the, the habit of fasting. Get into the habit of being alone and speaking to God because you know when you make space for yourself and you make space for God in your life it's very much easy for you to do things because you don't rely on the opinion of others to convince you not to do something when you want to do it you know um, so I think that's my idea of trying to help myself if I fear something man if i feel like just there's a spirit of uncertainty in my life i always go into 
first in prayer mode and just um, asking God to take away that spirit to deliver me to my, you know, to my confidence where I trust and I know and I have faith that um, I can take a risk and it's going to work out for me and to know that I'm worthy and to know that I have a, a, a higher power, I have a spirit that is so strong that I'm able to do the things that I want to do. So another point that I wanted to touch on is why is it that we are so scared to embrace change as people? And I think the reason why we're so scared to embrace change is because um, we have an idea in our minds that it's not going to work out before we even start. <laughs> And I don't know why is it that the human, you know, mind is like that because how are you going to know if you don't take that leap of faith and do something? How, how, how do you know that the change that is coming is a beautiful change? I think we get, we tend to get so comfortable with just our routine what we already know and we forget that life evolves every day nature evolves you as a person you evolve every day you change you know but we don't take these things into account to know that everything is a change everything flows you know um so if we can just get into understanding how life is and how life works is that everything changes every day so you might as well embrace the spirit of change you might as well get into the alignment of knowing that change can be something good even if it's not good you're going to learn something and you're going to evolve and you're just going to be a better human being and i feel like when you embrace change you can contribute to society and just be a source of inspiration to other people and I think that's what we're here for in life to know that we can inspire someone else and it doesn't have to be something huge but when someone looks at you they can have hope and feel like if that person can do it if they can embrace change I can do the same it's amazing if people can look at you and trust God. <laughs> I think that's amazing. I really think that's amazing. And that's what I, I want to apply in my life. And that's what I've been applying in my life. Just embracing change. Just trusting God and trusting myself. And knowing that God lives in me. Knowing that I am the creator of my life. Knowing that I am talented. Knowing that I can. You know, I do have the spirit of just being able to do anything that I put my mind on. So just embracing change is the way to go, Bandase. Let's embrace change and how can we use spirituality, how can we use religion to, you know, better our lives. And I want us to, when we read the Bible, we apply it in our lives. When we meditate, we apply it in our lives that I want to see the difference in my life. I want us to have the spirit of commanding things instead of begging, you know? I, I think sometimes we also need to change the way that we pray. Always asking, always begging. Sometimes command things that they need to happen, you know? I think even the universe, when it's listening to you, it listens to, are you coming from a state of lack or are you coming from a state of abundance and confidence and when you have a, a mentality of a state of abundance a state of commanding then things happen to you you know things happen to you because you are speaking things into your life and another thing that I want to leave you with is that when God created he created with the word and that's the secret that you need to take out of the Bible is that when you are commanding, when you are speaking, watch the things that you say about yourself and about your life because those things can literally create, you know. And I feel like that's one thing that we don't speak about a lot, how our tongue can literally 
manifest things into the physical that we want to see so i want you to get into understanding that you have the power to create with your mouth and you don't have to suffer you don't have to be poor you can get yourself out of that with your faith with your tongue speak positive about yourself be confident in yourself what you born from and where you come from is not where you're going and it doesn't have to be a future it doesn't have to be a reality you can command riches in your life you can command being great you can command going for it you can command smashing you can command just being the best person and the best vision of yourself that you can be because i feel like it all starts with the word it all starts it obviously starts in your mind and then it goes to what you say about yourself you know and for me, I'm at a point in my life where I am just commanding things and I'm no longer begging. I'm commanding things to come into my life. I am creating with the word and I speak highly of myself and I do not allow other people to come to me and tell me otherwise. I tell myself and trust what I know about God and the promises that God has for my life. So get into that spirit because then it's going to be easier for you to achieve the things that you want it's going to be easier for you to be happy it's going to be easier for you to be healthy oh man it's crazy how you can speak sickness and death in your life with the words that you use so watch out for that watch out words are just very powerful and there's already people speaking so negatively over your life that you don't have to add on to that. Get into the spirit of just speaking life into your life, speaking amazing things into your life and getting rid of the spirit of fear, getting rid of the spirit of doubt, getting rid of the spirit of uncertainty, knowing that you are worthy, knowing that God loves you, knowing that you can just you you can do anything that you put your mind on and you know i i talk about things that go through in my life where i feel like a lot of people are coming in my life with fear and i feel like i need to speak so that someone else that may be going through the same thing can know that you don't have to believe what people are saying to you and about you you can believe what you say about yourself because the most important opinion in your life is the opinion that you have of yourself so if you think highly of yourself the things are going to start materializing you're going to see your life changing i've made so many drastic changes in my life and i feel like i'm at a point in my life where oh, i look at myself and just feel like i have changed so much i never used to be this girl i never used to be the girl that does things i never used to be the most confident person but like now when i look at myself i'm just in awe i'm amazed by how i am and how the spirit of god is entering my body and i'm just becoming the best vision of myself and how i'm excited for my life and the things that i'm going to do and just how powerful i am i do not take that for granted and i'm thankful that i have come to this point in my life to realize how important a relationship is with god and i view god differently <laughs> i view god differently i just don't view God as how I used to view God before and I'm just here and I just believe in myself and I believe that everything that I'm going to touch this year is going to turn into gold and I wish the same for you. I wish that you get into this vibration, you get into this alignment, you get into your power, you tap into your power. And that's all I have for you. And I would like to thank you for tuning in until the end. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for all your support, for all your love, for your comments, for your like.
for um, I mean your likes for subscribing to the channel thank you so much for sharing my videos I thank you for everything and until the next video 